Hey everyone, welcome to the next commentary. Playing Victor top lane because uh, the Riven wants to go against Aurelia rather than a Poppy because it's like impossible to win. So I'm playing top lane here. I probably should not just go top lane. I probably should like sit inside of a brush or something because if I just went straight top, they'll probably lane swap or something maybe. Victor top isn't too bad, kind of. I mean, the issue with Victor is that you have no uh, gap closer or escape and you have no hard CC because you put down your W and yeah, it stuns them if they're standing on top of it, but you don't have a consistent way of making Victor or making people stay on top. I have a Clud Jungle? What the heck? I didn't even notice that. But yeah, there's no way to keep them on it. Probably put a ward down early on because Nidalee is a uh, pretty good at they actually did put I really atop. Wow. Oof. Oof. Oh my god. So we didn't get the lanes that we wanted, bro. Playing against late. <laughs> I'm in a longer lane versus Irelia, which is worse for me. Boom. At least I got a little bit of a trade on her. It's very difficult to beat Irelia early on. I have to use both my potions here just to be able to survive. Her Conqueror has expired. I'm just going to have to let her push me in here. What? I missed? Okay, that's going to miss. Okay, nice. So I can just freeze this here, hopefully. And this will make it so my lane is a little bit manageable. But I really is a disgusting champion at killing people if you land one stun. So I'm going to do my best at poking her out while keeping this frozen here. That's my best bet of even winning this lane. Because she has no potions left. I mean, she had a biscuit, so she popped that now. I still have to be super careful. I'm probably going to stop her here at the end of the... Oh, okay. She's still here. I'm just going to flash. If she lands that stun on me, I'm just dead. Not even worth attempting it. I almost fucking died, even though she didn't even land it. Like... I'm not risking dying to her. It is just way too scary. If I really have snowballs even a little bit, it's just doomed for me. So I'm just going to immediately use my flash just to make sure that I don't. She should have TP'd back here. Okay, she did. Damn it, dude. My purchase sucks. She's also going to freeze this because she wants to all end me as soon as I come back. Because I'm in a long lane, remember I mentioned... I need help unfreezing this, otherwise I'm just going to die, dude. It is so scary. So just stand on top of this. She still has Q here, so she'll use it, and then E to finish her off. It's so easy to know what people are trying to do when they freeze, especially on a, like, Irelia is so one-dimensional in terms of, like, I freeze the lane, then I just all in you because there's no way you can beat me because I'm an Irelia. So I'm glad that my jungler is able to be on this side. I'm lucky, to be honest. Like, it's not like 
If he wasn't here, I would be in a really weird situation where she could all in me. I might be able to escape with my W if I just stand on top of it like I did. Maybe I can do that. But for the most part, um, I, I am so reliant on scaling and waiting for my jungler to help me. What the heck? Leave me alone. Okay. So I'm just going to wait way back here and see if she tries to uh, push in. Because she thinks I'm going to reset, I'm not going to reset. So I'm just going to let her shove me in. And now my lane's not in a, such a bad situation that I can't do anything. So now I can maybe even like keep this frozen here or something. I can just ulti her and try to run at her. Like, I can do a lot of things here, right? So I'm just trying to allow my champion to be... I'm trying to put her into a weird scenario where she's like, oh fuck, now he's gonna do this versus me, but I'm Irelia, so I can do whatever I want, but she's not actually fed, so... You can see that I can just all in her with my ulti because she has no way to stop the damage of my ulti. Uh, Victor has extremely high damage. If you can make sure your ulti stays on top of them, she has no flash, and also she had no way to stack her minions, so she can't win, and I'm 6 and she's not. If she was 6, she probably could still beat me still, but she's not, because I've killed her so many times now already. So, I'm just really trying to play to my champion's strengths and make her make the mistake of, like, fighting me. So she's gonna freeze, by the way. I can't do anything about that. I'm gonna lose probably a wave or two entire waves because there's no way that she's gonna just like not freeze this. 100% gonna freeze forever, basically. <sighs> so, going back into the same exact lane setup, but this is a losing lane. I, it shouldn't be winning. So, in theory, I'm even though I'm gonna lose a bunch of creeps and I'm still on a bad lane spot, at least if we can get out of laning phase, with this current lead, I'll say that I did my job to make it so I really is not uh, the reason why we're going to lose this game. Hopefully, right? I mean, I could still die. She gets 600 gold shut down. Boom. It's over for me. L dying one time versus this champion. It's just, just doomed. I have no flash. <laughs> she has ulti now, and she's still freezing it. Yeah, I'm just dead. Oh, no fucking way, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Thanks, Aphromoo. Gives me the nice try. If I had my ulti there, I might have been able to kill her. Um... That was my bad. I should have waited for my ulti to come back up before stepping up to fix the wave. If I waited and had my ulti there, I win. Because she's going straight on top of me inside my wave. You could see that I almost killed her uh, just with my E and Q and the minions, and I'm just autoing her. And then she stopped going for me for some reason. Uh, even though I didn't have an ability. So I was able to wait out my ulti. If I just had the, my ulti from the very beginning there, I might have been able to beat her. Ah, oh, rough. Warded here. So I'm just going to try to shove this in. Uh, unfortunately, she will probably try to freeze it again. Still pretty difficult to stop it. Pretty difficult. Once again, put that on top of myself. This guy's just out. There's no way that we can kill her here. And uh, I'll just try to unfreeze this, basically. Okay. I killed Irelia because she telegraphed how she was going to move.
Okay, I didn't die. Let me out. Let me out, let me out. Okay, that was close, but... Jesus, dude, this game is hectic as hell. <clears throat> okay, she's just dead. Hmm. I mean, I'm not a shutdown, so I don't know why she wanted to commit so hard for that. She's not worth less gold, and also giving away two kills... Or, an a kill and assist is worth more. So we actually got more gold from that than she did. And she burned her flash. So, kind of not... I don't know why she did that. I'm probably going to TP mid here just to catch this wave. What wave? I'm going to get two creeps. Alright, it was a bad TP. <laughs> I'm actually pretty strong this game as Victor. They know that Poppy was coming, right? They probably did. I really might come mid here. I'm just gonna hit this one time to get the plate and then back off. Wee. Oh? Dude, 10 HP? Like, is this a joke? Got a pretty good chunk there. I think he should have engaged on her. I would have W'd the wave on top, and then he wouldn't be able to get him, but... 10 HP in Italy. How you play Victor is you use your gravity field to really, like, zone people, and then you just poke them with your abilities. <laughs> that, it's kind of a weird playstyle. When you have your ulti, then you can actually beat people too. You can kite with your Q as you get levels on it. You can't really do it that well early on, so... Boom, you're dead. I'm not gonna bother stepping up. I don't want to potentially die from uh, maybe her turning on me, so I'm just gonna let them take the kill and we're doing good. Nice, Claude got the thingy too. She might jump over this wall to try to escape if she does. Uh... Okay, she's dead. Nice. So I'm just gonna go mid, shove this wave. Uh, I should be safe enough to do this. Boom, got it. And now I'm just gonna back off. I have my triple hex core, so we're doing good. Also, my bot lane's disgustingly fed, which helps. Dang it, I wish I could do that like 1v2 play top where I almost kill both of them. That was crazy. Maybe if I use flash or something. I know I had flash, but I was afraid of I really was just going to cue me. So I, I don't want to waste the flash, because that would be bad. So I got triple hex core. I'm probably gonna go mm, Rylize or Lich Bane next. And I'm getting some good levels on my Q. So I'll be able to uh, have a short cooldown on a thing that's gonna speed me up and uh, I'll be able to catch people off guard and kite, kite people actually, not catch people off guard. For the most part, you kind of just farm and poke. And you wait for people to engage on you. I don't really ever do the engage. I'm not the engager. People do the engaging for me. I don't think Aphromoo saw that he was being roamed on there. Wow, that was a lot of damage on that Thresh. I am not stepping up to that though, because if I do, it's just... Alright, nice, nice one. I'm gonna stay a little bit far back here. I'm fine with them going in on me. Or going in, as long as we're a little bit closer to the tower, so. Here, I'll push out bot. If Twitch wants to stay mid, I'll push it out bot. Twitch is probably gonna just gonna kill everyone mid anyways. Might walk into Irelia here. Let's face check. Ooh, hey. Ooh, that was some nice damage. I'm just going to stand on top of my ability. Alright. Once again, stand on top of it. Wait, wait, wait! Okay, I almost messed up. But that E was so free. I'm just playing around I really is Q and just playing around my own timings when I have abilities and stuff. 
Every if you ever play versus an assassin as Victor, just stand on top of your W. It's the best way to really make them not fight you because they don't want to get stunned. Because then you can put down your E, which deals pretty good damage if you land off land both of them because it deals more than a one point ratio. Let's see, I think it's like a one point two or one point three ratio. So if you're able to actually land it on them, it deals crazy damage. I'm gonna go Rally second and then I'm going, a lot of people I see building Lucidity, I'm just building what I see other people do inside High Low when they play Victor. I'm not like saying that it's good, you can go Sorks too, I'm just going it because other people go it and Victor doesn't really build many uh, CDR items and because he doesn't build CDR items that uh, have mana, this helps out make it so he does have that bit of CDR because CDR is good on him, it helps out with his Q, helps out with a lot of his abilities. Unfortunately, I can't really fight this guy until I have my ulti available, so... I think that they're going for Rift or something. Kind of weird. You can use your E to face check. Yeah, I, I thought they were going for Rift. So my ulti's coming up here, so I kind of am okay fighting if we want to fight. Top lane is shoving in on its own, so I can't even catch a wave up there. So I'm just trying to be around for wherever the fight might break out. Looks like it's happening bot, but I don't think we can get there in time. I can go down there to salvage the lane, though, afterwards, so... Oh! Oh my god, this Riven's actually crazy. She actually 1v2'd. Absolutely nuts. <clears throat> Let's see if I can find that Poppy. Poppy... Oh, she's gone. She probably ran all the way back. I'm pretty sure it was warded somewhere. Can I take this? Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Hey, let's go. See you later. <laughs> no! I honestly am shocked that Ashley landed. It didn't look like it was going to land, so I didn't use Flash. I could have used Flash to escape and probably outplay, maybe. I'm actually... It did not look like it landed on my screen. I thought that I was safe, because I'm running in a straight line, but props to her. I guess she actually, actually got me. Well played. Now my team can just carry me, and I don't even get to contribute. Feels bad, man. Twitch V9. This I really has died nine times. Crazy. It's not even- it looks like- <laughs> Like, it's not like bot lane even did that poorly. This guy has five deaths, this guy has five deaths. It's just I really got crapped on top. So I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary about the early game versus Irelia and what we did to ma manage Irelia. And yeah, hopefully you learned something and I'll see you guys next time.